um, I made a video of the Captain America The Winter Soldier trailer uh, when it came out, which was sometime last week, I believe. I made the uh, trailer review for that, but uh, as I uploaded the video, it wouldn't show up like my content and it said that it was blocked and everything. I think it was because I used the Captain America trailer in the trailer review. I've done it before and it's not been bothered, but this time it didn't work. So today, I'm going to review. As to last night, I saw that the X Men Days of Future Past trailer, the first official trailer, was released. Um, today, I'm going to review both of them the Captain America Winter Soldier and the X Men Days of Future Past trailers um, for you guys. But uh, I'm not going to use any trailers in this video because I don't want to risk it being blocked again and you guys not being able to see it and you know me having to delete the video again. I don't want that to happen. So today, I'm not going to use the trailers. I don't know if that means for every trailer review I do, I won't use a trailer, but uh, for today, no trailers involved. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the Captain America The Winter Soldier trailer, and uh, talk about what I did say in my original video that, uh, can't, that you can't see now. So basically the trailer is actually pretty good, it looks like it's going to be better than the first one. It looks like it could be one of the best Marvel sort of sequels since the Avengers, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, basically, it starts off, you know, pretty cool. You know, we see Black Widow, which was weird. I thought we'd see her in Iron Man 3, but anyway, we see her in Captain America The Winter Soldier. I guess it makes sense because she had pretty great chemistry with um, uh, Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans. They were pretty good together in the Avengers, you know, they had some, some good times, you know. So I, I, think, I think it's a good idea to have her in Captain America The Winter Soldier as opposed to Iron Man 3, even though she was introduced in Iron Man 2. But it starts off with him, like, on. Uh, the helicarrier and uh, you know they're having a bit of banter and she's like you know hey don't you don't you have something to do tonight and he's like no the, the members of my barbershop quartet are all dead um you know proper Captain America sarcasm and then he jumps out of the helicarrier and these guys are like doesn't that guy have a parachute and then it cuts to the Marvel logo and I was like the trailer's already pretty great and you know it just shows all these things you know this action you know it looks like it's gonna have more action more like what I liked about Captain America the First Avenger is it was more human. While it was still a superhero origin story, Captain America is the most human out of all of the Avengers, and I liked his origin, like, because you know, he, he, he's very relatable in a way. So that, that's what I liked about the first Captain America, and this one looks even more human, you know, it's got the more human elements to it, it's got the action, it's also got the more sort of emotional side to it and everything, and then Bucky Barnes is introduced who is the Winter Soldier, and that was pretty awesome. Like you see, just just right at the end of the trailer, like Captain America throws his shield, and then Bucky just like ding catches the shield, and that that was pretty damn awesome. Yeah, I, I really thought that was cool. Um, you know, it, it looks pretty great. And releasing it like a week before Thor: The Dark World. Now Thor: The Dark World is out. Now it kind of came out today in the UK. But what I mean is like it was released last week, and it came out uh, before Thor: The Dark World. It made me pretty excited for Thor, and I'm not seeing Thor today, but hopefully I'll be seeing it. Maybe Friday or Saturday, so uh, I'll bring you a review of that very soon. But I really liked the fact that that trailer came out there. So moving on from Captain America the Winter Soldier is the trailer for X-Men Days of Future Past. I was pretty excited for this movie before the trailer. Um, you know, I knew that the trailer was coming because they released that stupid Instagram trailer with like 10 seconds of the Captain America the Winter Soldier trailer and I was like, okay, the trailer's coming out soon. And then uh, I saw an Instagram trailer for X-Men Days of Future Past and I was like, okay, the trailer's probably coming in about 10 minutes and it came yesterday. So, uh, yeah, uh, I was pretty excited for it because uh, you've seen, you've all seen my spoiler talk video of Wolverine where uh, at the end, you know, we get a teaser for Days of Future Past. Um, I won't tell you what it is right here because uh, if you want to see the Wolverine and you want to see the after credit scene, you know, but you can check out my video if you want which uh, is in my channel, it's the Wolverine uh, spoiler analysis for X-Men Days of Future Past, so uh, check that out if you want to. Um, it's my most highest viewed video, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> but um, the trailer for that was released, and at first, you know, it seems pretty slow, it's got the slow, dramatic building music, and then the action kicks in, you're like, okay, it looks pretty good. I mean, the, tra the teaser we got from uh, the Wolverine is kind of different from what the trailer looks like it's going to be. But, uh, you know, I know the plot involves Bolivar Trask um, destroying all the mutants and we've got uh, Wolverine having to go back in time. And there's like a scene where there's two Wolverines fighting now. I was like, that is pretty awesome. You know, I would lo I'd love to see that, you know. 
because Wolverine is like the ultimate badass and he's fighting himself and that's going to be a good battle. And then we've got the two Professor Xavier's like Charles is sort of, he's narrating it but you know he died in the last stand and I really want to know how he came back anyway. Uh, that, that's a bit weird. And then we've got Magneto's voiceover and it goes back and it shows Michael Fassbender and um, uh, James McAvoy's uh, Xavier and Magneto respectively. Um, that was pretty cool. I think it's going to be cool seeing them all together. Like we've got a scene in the trailer where both Xavier's, um, Patrick Stewart and James McAvoy, are like, having a conversation, and that looks pretty awesome. So I'm looking forward to Days of Future Past as well. You know, and the soundtrack sounds pretty good. At first, I was like, "Is that the music from Kickass when he's going up on the jetpack across the skyscraper?" And I was like, "Nah, it can't be. It could be, but..." Anyway, either way, the trailer was pretty awesome. I'm psyched for both of these movies coming out next year. I don't know the exact release dates, but I'm pretty excited for them. And, uh, you know, I think they'll both be pretty good and decent uh, Marvel movies. So have you seen both trailers? Let me know what you think. I'll put links to both trailers in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.